Welcome to a DataBits review of the UltraVision 8mm video camcorder model VM-H825LA. This particular camcorder is known as a high 8mm camcorder, which means it has a step up in resolution and picture quality from standard 8 video formats. And uh, this particular unit is in the middle between the highest end or the last stop for 8mm videotape was digital eight. And after we go through this particular unit and its features and functionality, we'll go on and show you some pre-recorded tapes. So Sony was a big uh, pusher of the eight millimeter format and having the portability to take movies with you, movies on tape. And I'll even show you an eight millimeter VCR video recorder miniature TV combo. And even though it doesn't work, but uh, I will show it to you because it looks really cool. All right, so let's get into uh, this particular unit first. And I've got a lot of experience with this format, with the Hi8 format, simply because I used to record weddings. And this particular unit uh, is a little bit bigger and a little bulkier than most of the units I've worked with in the past, which were primarily Sony products. So a lot of the uh, camcorders that you're going to see on my channel are in fact Sony products. So uh, let's turn it around here and we'll start on this side and kind of go through the features. So down here is where you would connect your audio video uh, input and output cable. In some cases it was input and output. In some cases it was just output. In this case, because this unit happens to be stereo, the cabling has both stereo left and right as well as your composite and even includes an S video cable on the same end okay of that uh, particular cable so this one's a little bit stranger than that I've seen before uh, for example uh, the the uh, the the battery is inside of here inside of this compartment and uh, oh yeah by the way we've got another little port here so apparently this is just uh, I don't know, I guess it's video and audio out, maybe an extra video and audio out, maybe so that you didn't have to carry that cable around. I'm not sure. All right, well, let's get into the battery here, this battery compartment, because there's really something unusual about this camcorder, and I've never seen this feature before. So we remove this, th this uh, cover here. I've got the power cable plugged in there as well. Uh, this one has a battery in it, but the battery, of course, is dead, which is quite common if you find these at a thrift store or secondhand, is that the batteries are going to be junk. But check this out. There's two little clip things in here, and you pull these up, and then you can put six AA batteries in here and actually run the camcorder off AA batteries. So if you happen to be out and about on vacation and your battery went dead, you could just stop at the... Uh, the local Walgreens and pick up batteries and pop those in there and be on your way. So again, I, I don't think I've seen that before on a particular camcorder unit. Okay, so uh, let's see, what does it say in the back here? Oh, attaching the batteries, okay, yeah. So this goes back on here like this and it has like two ends with a hinged middle on it. So you, you kind of lay it in there, sandwich it in there, and then push that button back, and it is locked back in place. You've got a little shoe here to put a, a light fixture, more than likely. You've got your zoom and zoom out controls here, and then you've got an insta zoom, instant zoom button there in the middle. Over here, you've got your uh, you know on-off switch, so camera, video. So video would mean use the unit like a VCR. Cam would mean use it as a camera and take your pictures with it okay uh, let's look at the back here you can see we have a fade we have electronic image stabilizer so you can turn that on or off there a manual focus you can go into a 16 by 9 mode or 16 9 mode as we uh, most of us know it date title and then this is your VCR controls here so stop fast forward rewind and play I do like the controls being on the back of the unit as opposed to on the top, which is almost every Sony camcorder had the controls for the VCR portion of it on the top of it, okay? And you open this up here and you've got your LCD display here, but it looks really, really uh, vacant right here because much of the Sony camcorders have a, 
a whole slew of buttons right here and, and functions. Uh, we've got a brightness control on the back here for the LCD display. We have a speaker here so you can play back your material. A volume control down here on the bottom. And as far as when this unit came out, I really don't know. I'm going to guess in the 1990s at some point, but I am not seeing a date here on the bottom. Um, maybe 96, if that's what that serial number indicates there. That wouldn't be a, a too bad of a long shot to, um, to guess 96. So, of course, you have a, a viewfinder here. So when you're out in the bright sunlight, you could look in there and see your image. And let's see. On the front here, you've got stereo speakers. So the, uh, the eight millimeter format, even from the beginning, used what's called AFM audio. So uh, they had hi-fi audio from the very start. Uh, not all of them had stereo. And as you can see here, this one does boast having stereo sound, okay? Uh, got a big power zoom lens there. And this one boasts 24X. Uh, digital zoom so if any of you know digital zoom does not really mean anything uh, if you want zoom you need optical zoom to really be able to see your subject so again uh, we'll just kind of go through and uh, and see it operate what I'd like to do is when I show you my pre-recorded tapes I'll use this unit to dub off some clips from those tapes and show you what the picture quality was like okay so let's go ahead and plug this in here. And you know, the other thing that's really ironic is finding these machines like this used and people leave their videotapes inside of them with uh, pictures and video of family and so forth. And it's like, really, why wouldn't you either pitch the tapes before you donate the machine or just erase them, bulk erase them or something. But uh, anyway, there's the inside of where the cassette goes. So you can see that there. And let's go ahead and put in a tape that this one, somebody wrote on there, use for testing. This is a, a regular eight tape. So you would only be able to record in standard eight format, losing some resolution. This is a more modern tape here. So this one has uh, specs for high eight as well as digital eight. So it's 120 on a high eight and 60 minutes on a digital eight machine. And, uh, and then this one here is a Fuji. So Fuji Hi8. Uh, strangely enough, you can use Hi8 tapes, any Hi8 tape, in a digital eight machine, and uh, it doesn't matter when it was made, as long as it says Hi8 on it. So let's go ahead and put the tape in here on the back, and you have to close it up using this little button here, and then we'll flip it on over here on the side. And so right now it's in video mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play down here in the front. And so again, here's an example of somebody's video that they just went ahead and uh, left their loved one recorded here on this tape. Isn't that great? So uh, there is the uh, brightness control there on the side. And you can see the picture quality looks really good on this little LCD display. I'll go ahead and hit the fast forward button. I haven't actually watched this. I don't know if this girl's making a speech or if she's, you know, sending a farewell letter to somebody in another country or what exactly there is. But uh, there's a little rainbow thing going on here on the side. I don't know if you can see that. That typically indicates that this tape was recorded over a second time and perhaps the old image was not completely erased that can happen all right so as far as to record you would go ahead and switch this over here to cam all right and if you wanted to look down inside the viewfinder you could do so there oh we can't do it though as long as the uh, this part is out so let's go ahead and close it and if I close it, then you can look down inside there and see that it's actually a black and white image. Okay. So if we open this back up and we'll shoot a little bit of high eight video here. 
So hello there fans of the DataBits channel. You're looking at the most lovely wire you've ever seen. And we'll go ahead and zoom back out on that. And uh, there's a couple of tapes right there. Aren't they beautiful? A owner's manual and a battery charger sitting back here in the back as well as the, uh, the supplier of the AC DC power for this camcorder as well. Okay. So I'll go ahead and pause it. I'm going to switch it back over to video. And I'll hit play. Rewind it. Oh, there's the girl again. And got to turn the volume up here. It's really not that loud. That speaker is almost inaudible. All right, so you get an idea of the picture quality, which is which looks really good. And it flips right back to the original footage on there. All right, so let me show you the Sony 8mm VCR combo unit that I was discussing earlier. We'll take a look at that. One quick note before we move on is these are not actually speakers. These are microphones, but you probably knew what I meant when I was talking about that, but I thought I'd make the correction anyway. These are in fact microphones. Okay, on to the next thing. So my idea for making this video actually was originally designed for this thing. So this is a Sony Video 8 Video TV recorder. So it's essentially a VCR as well as a, uh, well, essentially a camcorder if you would connect a camera right here. It has a, an input for a camera. Uh, this is a standard eight machine and it uh, uses uh, uh, mono audio only. So there's your audio in and outs there on the side. And you can use TV, camera, or line as your inputs there. Uh, it's got a bunch of cool controls here on the left. This thing is really heavy, bulky, uh, but it's just pretty amazingly cool. Uh, you can see up here at the top, uh, it had a color LCD television on it. So you could tune it into regular analog television and use the VCR in here to record the, the program that you were watching. So if you happen to be camping or wherever you happen to be and you just had to record what you were watching, you could do so with this thing. So this is called a video Walkman. And I had originally showed you guys this on my Facebook page and said, hey, it looks like this thing needs to be recapped. I might go ahead and recap this thing. And I opened it up and saw how ridiculously small and compact everything is on the inside. And I said, eh, I ain't got time. I'm not doing it. So anyway, but I will show it to you because it is cool. It's in really, really good uh, cosmetic shape as well. I uh, got a couple little controls here on the side, volume, bright, and then the screen actually pivots up like that. So you could set it on a table and casually watch your, uh, your movie there on there as well. So what kind of movies did Sony intend to, uh, to sell you to watch on this thing? Oh, look at there, an antenna. What kind of movies were they? Well, they were video eight movies and I'm not sure why they didn't make high eight movies because that would have seemed to have been a good transition, but in the same way that they, they didn't make super VHS movies and, and didn't release movies on, uh, beta, super beta. Um, they did, they didn't do the same thing here. So, um, all, as you guys know, the size of a VHS tape is here. So this is a standard size. Well, just so happens that I have the eight millimeter version of that very same movie. So you can see there was quite a bit of portability by getting an eight millimeter copy of your favorite movie. As far as the resolution goes, from what I've read, the resolution was about equal. So VHS had about the same resolution as regular standard video eight millimeter tape. So here's what the tape itself looks like. And uh, almost looks like a Betamax tape just a miniature one and look at there made in Japan and uh, yep yeah, just your standard uh, 
Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Love this movie. I actually have this on Blu-ray as well. Uh, didn't have it on Laserdisc. I, I think I did it one time, have it on Laserdisc, but uh, don't anymore. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, even the uh, materials uh, on this thing are pretty much the same as far as what they've marked on the back of the uh, unit. So, so that's one of my 8mm movies that I have. And I have a couple more here that I found on eBay. So uh, my next title here is The Hobbit. And I don't have the sleeve, the original sleeve for this one, but it is uh, on Sony tape as well. And that's a pre-recorded studio tape. Uh, the next one is Watership Down. This is an excellent movie. It's an animated cartoon, and uh, but it's got a really good story, good gripping story. And you'd say, oh my gosh, what, what could it be? A bunch of rabbits. But um, it's uh, not quite as zany uh, at all like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but uh, it's really good. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, the rest of these I'm not real sure about. These were included in the package with the Watership Down. And uh, so here we've got the Golden Seal. So apparently a seal jumps out of the water and turns to gold. Probably. I don't know. Uh, here's a fun one. Curious George. And again, with the Sony emblem uh, trademark on the top there. And uh, that one's got a little bit of a ripped label on it. Maybe they stuck the label up there too high on the cartridge, perhaps. But again, standard eight. And here is The Adventures of Black Beauty, volume two. And also on the Sony label, Black Beauty, a member of the family. All right. So there you go. So what I will do is I will show you some clips transferred directly to, uh, you know, directly inputted to digital. So you can see what the picture quality is on these. So, uh, but definitely a cool thing to collect. You really don't see these quite often. Um, I got these off of eBay as well as the, the Sony video Walkman got that on eBay as well. And of course it was sold as non-working, but I thought, Hey, you know, I can fix anything and I could fix this, but it's everything is just so tiny. It has those tiny little capacitors in there that are surface mounted and they're just a pain to deal with. So moving on in life. So to end this uh, video today, let's go ahead and show you some clips off of these eight millimeter tapes. Um, mommy's going to the beauty parlor, darling. But I'm leaving you with your favorite friend, Roger. He's going to take very, very good care of you. Because if he doesn't, he's going back to the science lab. Bilbo Baggins? Uh, yes? I am looking to hire a burglar. Burglar? <laughs> I'm afraid you've come to the wrong place. You mean you do not wish to share a grand adventure? Dear me, no. We hobbits are plain quiet folk. Adventures make one late for dinner. Enough! I am Gandalf, and Gandalf means me! Well, thank you for joining me on this tour today of the Hi8 Hitachi camcorder, as well as taking a look at Video 8 and its portable format for uh, watching movies, as well as the videotapes themselves that you would play on that portable format. So again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, share with a friend, check out my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash the number one and data bits. And we'll see you next time.